Hey everyone, welcome to our beginner guitar course lesson three. My name is Larry and today we'll be learning three new chords, um, G, C, and D, um, so that you can play a popular chord progression in the key of G. Last video I showed you four foundational chords, um, E minor, E, A minor, and A. Um, and for this video, for this lesson, you're actually gonna be using that first chord that I um, taught you E minor but we'll save that towards the end um, all right so let's get into it the first chord that I'm going to show you today is G um, and if you remember from the last video chord is made up of a set of notes and it has a root note okay so in this case G is made up of three notes um, three single notes G B D I'm telling you this because if you want to um, learn the guitar study the guitar later later on um and you know once you get into music theory um this will make sense so g is made up of three single notes g b d has a root note of g um uh, so let's get to it so the first thing you um uh, to build up this chord of g is you're going to find that root note on the top it's going to be on the top string and you're going to use your middle finger you're gonna to go to the sixth string, third fret. So why is it here? Because this note right here is a G note because of E, F, F sharp or G flat, and G. So that's from our first video. So um, if you need to learn the the fretboard, or the notes on the fretboard, go to that first video. So G. Your index finger is gonna go on the fifth string, second fret. And finally, your ring finger is going to go on the first string, third fret. And that's your G chord. Or G major. Don't forget, if we say just a letter, by default, it's a major chord. So that's G. Uh, let's do it again. I'm going to do it again real quick. Um, let's go to your middle finger on that sixth string, third fret your index finger on the 5th string, 2nd fret and your ring finger on the 1st string, 3rd fret so just an FYI for those of you that would later want to go into music theory this is this note right here is G this note right here is B this open string, 4th string is D if you remember from the first video this 3rd string open is G this 2nd string open is B and this note right here is G, G, B, D. Okay, so let's go um, to the next chord, which is gonna be the chord of C, and, or C major. Um, it's made up of three single notes, C, E, G, okay? And once again, we build um, first with our where well, we start with our root note which is C so in this case our root note is going to be on the fifth string it's going to be on the third fret and use your ring finger that's our that's our root um, middle finger goes on the fourth string second fret and our index finger is going to go on the second string first fret since this note right here is our root note we're going to skip that top string we're not going to play it but we play it from the fifth string down c all right let's do it again take off your hand uh ring finger goes on the fifth string third fret that's a c note middle finger goes on the fourth string second fret which is an e note um, third string is open and the second string, you put your index finger on the first fret. That's a C note. And then you're also going to play that bottom string, that first string, which is an E. C. So just a quick, um, quick pointer right here. Um, just... A preview of later on 
Um, if you notice, or if you remember, um, C looks pretty similar to A minor. There's only one difference in, in a finger, your ring finger, it changes. So this is C. Um, if you want to go to A minor, you're going to move this ring finger. You're going to tuck it under this middle finger. And your ring finger would go on the third string, second fret. And that becomes A minor. Okay, back to C. It's just you just move that ring finger back to A minor. Uh, so just quick mini lesson right here. Um, the reason why these two are familiar, C and A minor, uh, is because they're actually uh, relatives. So this is a concept later on in music theory. C and A minor, the relatives. Every single major chord has a relative minor. Um, and I'll talk about that here and there throughout this series and in this video too. So just a quick FYI, you don't have to focus on this. I just want to give you a brief crash course. C, A minor. Okay. So once again, I'll do C one more time just to, um, so you can remember. So ring finger on the fifth string, third fret middle finger on the fourth string second fret and index finger second string first fret don't play that top string because this is your root note c okay let's get into our third note or excuse me our third chord it's gonna be that of d or d major and it's made up of these three notes d f sharp and a okay um so we start with our root note if you remember, our fourth string is D. So that's actually going to be a root note. Um, this, four, this fourth string open. Okay. Then we're going to take our index finger. We're going to put it on the third string, second fret. Okay. You're going to take your ring finger. You're going to put it on the second string, third fret. And then you're going to take the middle finger on the first string, second fret. And since this is your root note, this fourth string open, you're only going to play those bottom four strings. That's D. Okay? Okay. Let's do it again. Fourth string open. Index finger goes on the third string, second fret. Ring finger goes on the second string, third fret. And middle finger goes on the first string, second fret. Play those, play from the root. You have D. And just the FYI, you have a D note right there. This note right here is an A. This note right here is a D. And this note right here is an F sharp. Remember, D, F sharp, A. So there you go, three new chords, G, C, D. Right now I'm gonna briefly review E minor, which I already taught you in the previous video. E minor, if you remember, is that first one with only, you only need two fingers. Okay, E minor. Uh, the reason I'm reviewing this chord is because we're gonna use it in our progression that I'm about to show you, okay? And one more brief mini lesson or crash course, E minor is the relative minor of G, of that first chord I showed you, or yeah, the first chord I showed you, or also, you know, in the key of G, E minor is the relative minor. Okay? All right, so this concept comes later on in music theory. G, E minor, okay. So we're gonna put this all together, um, the three new chords that I showed you, G, C, D, plus that chord E minor that I taught you last video. Um, and we're gonna play a popular chord progression. So what is a chord progression? Chord progression is a series of chords that are played in sequence, okay? And just an FYI, you don't have to focus on this, but I just wanna let you know the type of progression we're gonna play right now is called a 
one, six, four, five um, in the key of G. Okay, so the order is going to be G, E minor, C, and D. So I don't want to get into more detail about why it's called the one, six, four, five just yet, but because um, that's I don't want to get you confused with music theory, but um, you know, just just trust me. So we're gonna play G, E minor, C, and D. So you can do this at home, uh, at your own pace. I always tell my students, go at your, your pace, or else you're gonna get all uh, frustrated and discouraged. So you know, this takes a lot of practice. Okay, so G. And like I told you in my last video, the easiest way to strum is to just go down for now. And then you go to E minor. Then you go to C. And then go to D. And you just restart and do it all over, G. E minor. C. So the reason why I put G and E minor right next to each other is because they're relative. So that way you already start thinking about relatives. Okay, and I'm, in a way I'm low key, you know, having you familiarized with music theory. Okay, so G, E minor, C, D, that's a common progression. Um, there's a lot of songs out there that you could probably find and that you know, match that progression. So. An exercise or you know I want you to do this exercise that I showed you at home at your own pace I've you know you go slower if you need to go slower and once you get the hang of it start you know going faster you know and just uh, it takes a lot of practice so you know don't get discouraged and get frustrated you're not gonna master this in one hour you know it takes hours you well, yeah um, so just practice uh, and then Next class, I'm going to show you an, a, another, uh, or this progression, but in a different key. And I'm actually going to introduce you to bar chords next class, all right? So practice this. Um, don't get discouraged. You got this. Perfect practice makes perfect. Um, so yeah, I'll see you next time.